look at what we look like versus who we are. Mm. And what you look like, look, you can apply this to the police, okay? Me, I'm an abolitionist. I don't think we need police anymore, and I'll say that publicly. But we do need police. Right. Okay. Exactly. Right. You do need police. Yes. You know damn well we need police. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Yes. Gangs took off the essays, Crips and Bloods. Shout out also to um, Stan Tukey Williams. Right. Mm -hmm. Stan Tukey Williams was on death row, one of the, mm -hmm. the creators of, of these gangs yeah. in, in, in New York. Crips, actually, the Crips to be in, in, not New York, I'm sorry, in LA. Crips in LA. Um, he's on. He's in jail for on death row. Arnold Schwarzenegger killed him anyway. Um, but in California, so he wrote a book and spoke out against gang violence. He's a creator of the Crips. He came out and said this was a mistake. Y'all need to stop. This is crazy. The core members of the Crips stopped. I was there when the rags came off. Everybody was there. It was like a, a miracle went down in in, in L.A. A year later, I'm not going to say CIA, I didn't say FBI, I don't know who. Crips are back now. A new Crips, a new blood, a new essay. They get all of the all of the time. They get all, all the time on, on the news. They get all, the, them taking off the rag didn't get no air time. One or two stations maybe, but nothing on national nothing. But the minute the new Crips come, they get national press on this. Almost like they had a publicist pushing this, advertising this back to the kids. So then the LA community says, well, the gangs are still here. The gangs are still... No, they're not. The real gangs quit. The, uh, the creators of the gang movement denounced it, took off rag, shook hands and said, we about peace. The creators of it, yeah? Now this other group comes and sides with death and destruction, and this is what we say now is what happened to gangs and gang culture. Hip hop is going through the same thing. The originators of the culture have already established Peace, love, unity, safely having fun. Yeah, yeah. Hip hop was about breaking up, seeing graffiti, our DJing, knowledge, and overstepping. Yeah, yeah. We already established this. No airplay, no airtime, nothing. What we gonna promote? Bitches and hoes. That's what we gonna deal with over here. So now everybody says, hip hop is this now. Mm. That's the culture. As this is the culture. Y'all sold out into this, y'all, and it looks like that. It does. Look at it. That's yeah. what you calling this hip hop. XM Satellite, another criminal organization. Mm -hmm. Respectfully, Chris, but that's the essence of my question. Yes. Who owns the culture? We do. Again, so when you say that hip hop is doing well and rap is doing bad, it looks like rap is strong. No, rap is sold out. All house slaves look better than the field slaves. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I appreciate all that. But I don't want us to miss the point of your question. No, your question is potent. That's why I'm right. going to answer it. And, and I'm with you. I feel no, no, come on. Right? Right. These, are, these are conversations that we have That's real. all the time. That's right. Right. So as the griots, do we own the culture? We can't pass it down to our offspring. If they're, if they're aligning with other philosophies, is it ours? Right? Yes. My last name is Werner. Yes. Outside of the word of household, you can't define what it means to be a Werner because right. it was defined in the household. Right. Right. So if it's being defined outside the household, then I ain't a worm. Right. I'm whatever this is. Well, see, that's that's a choice because no, you're still a worm. You are the original, and that's the point. Colonialism, if we may bring this word now into the conversation, colonialism has a tactic of taking the criminal element of a society and exalting it as the leadership. And this is how all cultures, how they did us as they came in. So you look at any city, any state that, 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 that is, uh, is colonized, they don't take the king or the queen of the culture and exalt them because you, you colonize in their land, you take them what they got. 
They'll take the one who is the lowest level of your culture, disgruntled, can't follow principles, don't care about history, bless them. and bless them. <laughs> And bring them up before the people. Now that blessing only matters if those people admire or value yes. said blessing. Yes. Outside of admire yes. said foundation. Yes. But the foundation is still the truth. Now because you went with the lie and the lie looks good, the lie is paying. The lie is giving you prestige. You're getting popularity on the lie. There's only one place that that lie can take you. One place. And that's to your self-destruction. The one, one thing I'm hoping to show here is, here's KRS-One. I've been blacklisted, shut out of the industry, all types of stuff. And also to, my, to their defense, I'm not even asking to be part, really, to be honest with you. So it's a two-way street. I don't want to be down with you. You don't want to be down with me. Okay, we good. We're clear with what it is. Okay, arrest is the one that's still standing now. And you gotta look at the real, what is called the facts of life. This is what I the facts of life. So all them dudes in the 90s that were talking to Chris Style and the Diamonds and all of this stuff, they're nowhere today. God, they're nowhere, okay, nowhere. Some of them, some of them are in poverty, okay, today. And I mean the big acts. You know, I don't wanna call names, you, you know. <laughs> Major. Some of them are entitled, though. All right. <laughs> Some of them are entitled, though. And they're still getting ripped off. What's the other name you just named? They got, yeah. Live Nation. Live Nation. Live Nation entitled. You still ripping it? They're ripping right. those people and off. Again, I'm just, I'm just. And I'm no, you're sure. real with it. Right. You're real. No, no. These are the questions. But his answer, it's an illusion. Dang. You, you can't really. base. It's not real. It's not substance. It's not real. It's not, not even substantive. It's, it's not, not real. real. It's not real. Right. But it's potent. But it's potent. A lie is. The lie is always potent. Yeah. The hype is always potent. Yeah. The truth, though, is how you last. Right. And 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 if you look at the situation, most of us who've been preaching truth, we stand in strong. We here now. We on tour just like everybody else. And so the kids got to see now, of course, I'm not advertised enough. I'm not put out there enough. And, and to my own detriment as well, I don't play the game. So if I, if I lent myself to the game, I might be able to be heard a little more. Yes, I will say that. But to lend yourself to a corrupt game only corrupts you. Mm -hmm. So I don't lend myself to the corruption because I can see it. But what's the result? Hip hop looks like it's titled. And XM Satellite and Yah Yah and Yee Yee. So no, your point is well taken. In fact, you're speaking about the middle of the revolution right now. How do we turn that time? How do we, how do we turn, that turn that time? Bend that, that scale over. Well, that's what I said. Part of it is here right now. Okay, we have a strong mouth right here, right now. Strong mouth. If we just started spelling hip hop with a capital H, you would defy the entire Same corporate thing. structure. Yeah. Just to, because if you spell us with a capital H, you recognize us as culture. Yeah. That means we can't be exploited by corporate. Yeah. There's laws against exploiting cultures. The United States laws, the UN got laws, yeah. cities got laws. But as long as you are music genre, you can be exploited. Mm -hmm. There's no laws against a music genre. You can do whatever you want with a music genre, but not a culture, not a group of united people. So something as simple as spell hip hop with a capital H. It's a proper noun. It's the name of our nation. Start looking at it like that. Now we get a little more strength. And we could go to XM Satellite and say, we're suing you for defamation of cultural character. We have a, a case in court. And with precedence, because other cultures have sued as well. They say, oh, you, here's a case. Not in court, just a public case. So Cardi B uh, did um, a rendition of Shiva uh, in one of her early promotions. She came off as Shiva. Shiva's the uh, Hindu god, uh, goddess. Uh, that uh, appears with, uh, um, I think, eight arms, yeah, right. uh, and so on, right? Yeah. Shiva, the destroyer, the life giver, based on how you want to look at it. Um, and that's it. So she came off as Shiva, 
Do you know that the Hindu community was in an uproar? Mm. They said, you can't take our gods and do manipulate them any way you want and da 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 mm. And I wish I was on, on Cardi B's legal team. Because of course she apologized, she came back and said, no, that wasn't the intent. She did the right thing and, and, and appeased the culture. But it brought up an argument. Mm. So India, you could take hip hop mm -hmm. and do whatever you want to do mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. But if mm -hmm. we take your culture and do it, we, you got a problem. Mm -hmm. You see, but as long as we are music genre, then India could take hip hop and do whatever it wants to do, include it in its culture, have all types of their deities rhyming and doing all this type of stuff, totally against our principles, totally against our history, but there's no protection because we just a music genre. The minute we jump to culture, all that stops. You cannot use that anymore. You're speaking straight to the revolution right there. That's why your question is so important. Look at what we look like versus who we are. And what you look like, look, you can apply this to the police. Okay? Me, I'm an abolitionist. I don't think we need police anymore. And I'll say that publicly. But we do need police. Right. Okay, yeah. Yeah. right. We do need money. Yes. You know damn well we need money. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 